there's actually a super easy way to generate up to 120 listings at once using AI. This is a feature within my designs called Phrase AI, and in this video, you'll learn how to utilize it to save yourself massive amounts of time. In order to use this feature, you need a my designs account with an active subscription. Unfortunately, this is not part of the free plan, but I will leave a link in the description, which will bring you to this homepage where you can get started and sign up to an account right here. Once you've logged into the dashboard, the first thing you'll have to do is create a new folder to upload your designs to. And for that, head over to the listings tab, click on home to bring up the folder system. And here you'll have to click add folder, give it a name, and then click the blue button to actually save the folder. I've already done that. And we've got it down here somewhere, phrase AI for this demo. So click on your folder that you've just created and then click open folder down here. And that will bring up an empty collection. And the next step is uploading all of the designs that you want to actually bulk create these listings for. So click on upload, upload files, drag and drop them into here. I'm going to do this with 120 scalable designs that I created a while back in another video. This is for retired job titles, different occupations. And yeah, if you do want to see that video about how to create these designs very seamlessly with an automated process, I will leave a link to that in the description as well. But once you've dropped your designs into here, click upload all and hit upload designs. And then we just have to wait a few minutes for all of these to be imported into our folder. Once all of your designs have been uploaded, there's one more step we need to take before we can start using Fraser AI, and that is provide a primary keyword for each of our designs. So if you double click on the keywords tab right here, you will see an empty field that says primary keyword for each of our designs. And the way Fraser AI works is it will use this primary keyword to base the entire listing off of and find relevant keywords and build you know, the title and the tags. There's two ways to fill in these fields. The first way would be to just type in you know, retired accountant for the first design, then move to the next slot and do retired actor. This is a bit more manual and it takes a few minutes. It's still worth it in my opinion and from my experience because in the end with phrase AI, you will save massive amounts of time, but there is a quicker way as well. Once you've filled everything in, if you are using this method, hit save in the top right corner to make sure the data is stored. But let me show you an even quicker way to do this. So if we click on this information symbol, right here, then we can see the file names for each of our designs. So this one's called accountant, here we've got actor. So as you can see, I've titled my actual PNG files according to the primary keyword of this niche. That is a very common and recommended or highly recommended method for sort of organizing your files and keeping things easier for your workflow afterwards. So if you've done this, then what you can do inside of my designs is select all of your listings with this button up here, click select all, go to all actions, edit in bulk, change the first field from title to primary keyword, because that's the field we want to affect and insert data into. Then we want to click into the primary keyword section right here and add a variable with this button, change the variable type from value to app. And now it will say main file, file name, this is what's being pulled a PNG file name. And now it will pull the file name right here and paste it into the keyword section. You can see a preview of it down here. This is what the listing would look like in the first example with our first design. And so now we can click apply to selected listings and click proceed. And there we go. If I scroll down, every single field has now been filled in right here with the same as the PNG file name. Now you will notice that I've got a few hyphens right here within my words, which is obviously quite annoying. I don't want that to actually be in the listing. So another quick fix for this would be to go back to all actions, edit in bulk, change this to primary keyword again, and change the action to find and replace. And now I'm going to find all of the hyphens and replace them with a space. So just a space in this field right here, and then hit apply to select listings, proceed and scrolling down right here, administrative assistant, as you can see, the hyphen is gone. Same here with the law judge. So that worked very well. And if you want to still add something to this primary keyword, in my case, I think it's important to add retired to this. So phrase AI knows we want this listing to be optimized for retired people. Then what you can do is head back to all actions, edit in bulk, change the field to primary again, and I will change the action to add to front. And then I'll just write retired space and let's see the preview right here. Did it work? Yes, we've got retired accountant for the first listings. So let's apply this as well. Click proceed again. And now I would say these primary keywords are ready for us to use Fraser AI. So once you're ready, make sure all of your listings are selected, then click on Fraser AI, change the first 
field right here from title to primary keyword, and then everything else can stay the same if you want to sell t-shirts. If you don't, if your listing should be optimized for a different product type, you can change it over here on this other dropdown, but uh, title and tag is what we want to be filled in. At the moment, Phrase AI can't generate descriptions, but I have heard that they're working on this feature behind the scenes, and I've also heard they're working to update Phrase AI so you don't even need a primary keyword. It will literally analyze the design file and use that as its basis to create the listing data from. So that will save even more time down the line and I hope that feature comes soon. So once your settings look like this, click submit right here and then continue and the job will be added to the queue. This is usually very quick as you can see. And now if I click back onto listings right here, double click on this to see it for every single design, then you'll see retired accountant t-shirt, funny tax t-shirt for accountants, accountant, gift for tax season, retired tax professional, and a lot of tags have been filled in as well. These are not always 100% perfect, so you might have to still look through them and delete the odd thing. Like I don't know what T for men is, maybe with a space that would make more sense. Just look through this briefly, make sure these actually make sense. And I do like, for example, here, retired actuary has to do with math and it has added funny math shirt right here, math teacher, accounting shirt. So it does definitely look for some relevant keywords and it takes inspiration from Etsy best selling listings as well. You can see right here with the structure, with the commas and using long tail keywords. So definitely a very powerful tool that can help you create hundreds of listings in the matter of just a few minutes. So in order to generate a neat looking description at the moment, we can use chat GPT until Phrase AI has its update. And all you need right here are some product details. You can find these in the My Designs product catalog or any other print provider will have some product information on Google about the different features, about machine washing instructions, etc. So just paste these into a chat GPT like this. And then at the bottom say, please summarize all the data above and write it in a visually pleasing format with emojis as an Etsy product description. That's literally all it takes. And then if you hit enter, you will get a way nicer looking layout and description format that you can easily copy into the description field. So uh, let's see what it does right here. Every one of these points gets a nice suitable emoji, which I think looks good and also my eye catching on Etsy. So um, now we can just take this and copy it with control C. Head back to my designs where you want to make sure that all of your listings are selected. Click on all actions, edit in bulk, then change the field to description in this case and just paste with control V all of the data into here that you just got from chat GPT. And now if you hit apply, then that description will be pasted into all of the listings at once. So that way it looks a bit tidier and neater and interesting on Etsy. So I hope this helps you speed up your process and optimize your Etsy listings in a way faster and more efficient way. If you're new to my designs, you might be a bit overwhelmed by the dashboard and all of the different features they have to offer, but not to worry. I actually made a complete beginner's guide showcasing all of the different tools they have, explaining the pricing plans and setting you on the right path to take your Etsy shop to the next level.